The United States Congress is buying XRP and they're buying it at over seven to ten thousand dollars per XRP coin as mentioned by Congress themselves. In fact, in a report that was published back on December 20, 2023, the Federal Reserve in the United States went into exploration, deciding the possibility of assuming control over all the XRP and Ripple, along with considering measurements to restrict retail acquisition of XRP, presenting it as an alternative within their current financial landscape. And it seems like they've now decided because we've officially begun seeing the restriction of all retail for XRP, which started off on Uphold, a very pro XRP exchange, which eventually decided that they would now hold all withdrawals. In fact, cryptocurrency exchange Uphold announces that they will buy XRP from the public markets. And not only that, in a more recent article, Uphold actually decided that they would halt all the withdrawals, including for XRP, the digital asset. In fact, in this article highlights the Uphold team swiftly announced the ordeal in an ex post assuring customers that the issue is only temporary. But how do we know that this is actually the case? And does highlight here that XRP is one of those critical currencies that was actually held on withdrawals. And we say this because specifically XRP had the same issue with Binance, which Binance announced the global suspension of all XRP withdrawals and sent it out to all of their users, saying that your withdrawal is being processing as Ripple Network is withdrawn, withdrawal suspended at this moment, meaning you can only sell XRP, you can't buy XRP, you can't even withdraw XRP to your cold wallet, you are literally forced to just sell it. And this withdrawal locking or this restriction of retail is continuing to happen more and more as more financial institutions begin to delve into XRP. For example, all this began happening after the Bank of America, which is the second largest bank in the USA, and this is an official partnership with Ripple, possibly using XRP. Now, we're going to get into all this and, in fact, discuss Congress valuing XRP at $7,000 and actually them capturing that market and trying to accumulate as much as they can because that is where they see XRP as stablecoin and where they see it most effective. Of course, with that being said, we do have to announce our massive giveaway in partnership with MetalCrypto.com. We guys can get your own personalized Ripple XRP gold coins or silver, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Like, I recommend everybody to get this. Not only do they have a gold coin, but they also have the Ripple XRP door carpet and a bunch of other cool apparel like Ripple socks, XRP, you know, phone cases, hoodies, t-shirts, hats, and so much more. And of course, they also have a bunch of other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Solana, Ethereum, Litecoin, Polkadot, Jasmine, and everything else that you can think of. So again, if you guys do use my code for $10, you're going to get $10 off making your own personalized Ripple XRP gold coin less than $4. Again, it's $20 Canadian or less than $15 USD. So it's dirt cheap and it's the greatest gift that you can get and something that I consistently tell people to get because it serves as a great reminder to tell you that yes, maybe XRP is valued at 40 cents now, but its true value is in the tens of thousands of dollars potentially. Now, of course, with that all being said, make sure you also subscribe to the channel, tap the like button and share this video to enter that giveaway for some free XRP and let's get right into it. Settlement is about to happen between Ripple and the SEC and the direct value that it would have on the price of XRP is exponential because literally we could see the price of XRP skyrocket to over $50 once the settlement is approved and it's public. And in fact, it seems to be closer than ever before as Congress files an act to potentially fire Gary Gensler over his stance on XRP and the Ripple SC lawsuit. And this is official and has been verified by over two US lawmakers, which have actually submitted to seek a firing of the SC chairman, Gary Gensler in 2024. And of course, if he sees this being a direct hit, Gary Gensler is going to want to resolve this lawsuit as quickly as possible. And it seems like that is the case with him offering two, not one, two SEC settlement offers, Ripple rejecting them, and now a third one is possibly in the making. And that's not all. The US Congress, alongside Ripple, announced a CBDC backed US dollar on the CBDC or the Central Bank Digital Currency being built on the XRP ledger. And while this news is not 100% accurate, as in it's still an unconfirmed report, there is a clip that basically confirms that the Congress has been looking at Ripple all along and looking specifically at the Ripple XRP case as well. And we're going to roll the clip shortly right after I show you guys this, which is another video report, which the USA Congress says that they will settle with the Ripple lawsuit and that the SEC chairman is doing an absolutely terrible job and Ripple is literally winning, even though the government is suing Ripple. Of course, he also says that XRP is not a security. And so again, it emphasizes that stance that the US Congress is looking at XRP and that they're completely with XRP because they're using and required 
you know, the technology that is actually built within it. So with that being said, let's roll the clips. It creates uh, safe harbors from certain actions, but people are able to be prosecuted. No cases against people are stayed by a provisional authority. That's not correct at all. And the fact that the SEC has won almost 130 cases, not true. They settled 130 cases. And they're confusing and disjointed. And we saw the most recent example of that in the, in the Torres decision in XRP, the Ripple case last week. That's why we need So a provisional registration for you. Inclusion. CBDC is just one type of publicly issued digital dollar and would be issued, backed, and regulated by the Federal Reserve and have the full faith and backing of the U.S. government. This could, be, this could serve as an alternative to existing forms of payments and have a benefit including instant payment settlement, provide a medium for cross-border transactions, and foster greater financial inclusion. More than 130 countries have begun to explore their own government-backed digital currencies. China, Russia, Saudi Arabia, and India have already commenced pilot programs. And a digital euro pilot could be launched as early as 2028. Meanwhile, the U.S. remains far behind amid increasing and blatant information about features of digital currency. Now, as you guys see the clips that I just showed you guys, the Federal Reserve also identifies XRP and XLM as the only digital asset it may use to facilitate payments within the FedNav payment system. And in the article that you guys see or in the report that I screenshotted, it highlights that the platform's ongoing a pilot page with over 120 or financial institutions and organizations taking part, including recent additions such as the US Bank, Exchange Bank, and various other payment processors and solution providers. Ripple, a prominent payment provider for cross-border payments and open source distributed ledger technology for financial transactions, also may be included among the fintech companies that the Fed now will utilize, additionally Stellar XLM being another option. But of course, the highlight here is that the Congress or the United States government needs XRP to facilitate its payments because it's more, you know, it's more cost efficient, it's cheap, and it's extremely effective. Plus, it is there for decentralization and innovation. And as we see BRICS trying to, you know, accept and utilize the XRP technology. Of course, Ripple being a United States based company, the US is going to want to take it before any others. So, of course, that is not all, and that's not the only evidence that we're going to show you guys. Right in front of you is a Federal Reserve paper which verifies global utilization of XRP in accordance with the ISO 4217 standard. This standard is implementation of XRP within the United States. And it's actually set to commence on December 31st of 2023, which is back then a couple months ago. And of course, it's officially already out there. But the problem is that it hasn't yet been implemented, meaning that the delayment of the implementation, it's a good thing because that means the price of XRP is going to pump once it happens, but it's delayed indefinitely. So we don't really know when it's going to be implemented. But here it is right here. When you search up XRP, it tells you what code it's under on. It's under, and this is the ISO 4217. And if you look here, the ISO 4217 standard posted on the official government website is actually the three little uh, letter d uh, digital currency code. It's the universal code. So if something is a currency, like the US dollar, like the euro, like the G, uh, the Great British Crown, or the Canadian dollar, it would be under the 4217 standard, and it would follow a three letter currency code. And XRP fits exactly that. And it just shows you that XRP is going global to be the global reserve currency, which is something that we talked about, but it needs an entire separate video for this. And as we talk about this, it's not only XRP that is going to actually facilitate the trillions upon trillions of dollars that are going to go through the XRP ledger, because the XRP ledger technology is really what everybody's looking at. Instead, it's going to be a DeFi token. And in this case, we're looking at the only DeFi token on the XRP ledger, the crypto trading fund, which is not only DeFi, but it's also its own passive income reward framework that is being implemented into not just online, but also in the real world if you decide to purchase a product using crypto. Right now, they have a system that basically, if you purchase a product using cryptocurrencies, then you can submit through their app that is currently being built and get CTF rewards. Basically a reward system that can be exchanged for real money because you're getting CTF tokens as a reward, but it's all about an entire reward framework where basically if you own CTF token, not only are you generating passive income because you're holding that CTF token rewards, but you can also generate more CTF token by purchasing a product using a partner that actually has a CTF token framework. So it's very interesting. And the whole idea here is, guys, you can literally earn passive income using this. It's a lot of free cash that you can generate all 
gold just by holding the CTF token or by going ahead and getting it as a reward by purchasing a crypto product and then submitting it onto their platform, which of course is currently being built. Now, I'm telling you guys, you'll learn a lot by watching this video. So I definitely recommend you guys read into it and you guys look over their white paper. But with that being said, if you want to earn passive income and get into earning some free CTF rewards, all you're going to have to do is check them out. It is available on ctftoken.com and they are available on the Polygon chain and on the XRP ledger. Right now, you can earn free CTF tokens just by holding CTF token on the Polygon chain. So it's very interesting, guys. I actually own part of CTF token. Like I am continuing to accumulate. I will continue to own CTF. I'm holding with my diamond hands because I truly see the potential, guys. And this coin could literally easily pull a 10,000 X and make people generational wealth. And I really hope that my goal here is is for the price to pump, which it is, but at the same time, I'm earning, I'm earning passive income, basically reinvesting my passive income to earn more so that eventually I can retire purely on my passive income, live a really luxurious lifestyle without having to sell a single CTF token reward. But yeah, guys, I am going to end off the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe, and check out ctftoken.com to see if you want to get in on that juicy passive income and that rewards framework. Of course, guys, I also want to thank the partner of today's video, which is metalcrypto.com, and make sure you guys do check them out using my link in the description. Get yourself your own personalized metal ripple xrp gold coin you can also get a bunch of other coins like the donald trump coin they have you could jasmine coin a biden coin they have a lot of really cool apparel and use code free ten dollars to get ten dollars off any of your purchases that being said i hope you guys didn't do this video i'll see you next time and peace